Hi guys, it's Manek from EarlyLearningMom.com. I am in my homeschool planning glory here. Hubby's got the kids out right now. Tomorrow's the first day of homeschool and I'm just sorting myself out now. That's how I roll. Actually, we've been super busy. I could have done it sooner, which I usually do, but because we had our Doman International um, advanced consultation, I didn't want to make huge plans and then have to change them. So that's why I'm kind of running on the seat of my pants here. But this video is about what we're going to use for language arts this year. And for us, it is just um, fine-tuning some things. Z reads really well. We use a homeschool, uh, we use the uh, Doman method to teach reading. But this is just going over a few um, phonics skills and we're using it mostly for the uh, to practice reading out loud and we're using it to um, for fine motor skills but I just want to make sure we don't have any gaps in his education and we're probably going to move through this program pretty quickly I have it plotted out in my planner um, as a 36 week program and I'm okay <laughs> I'm debating whether we're going to hurry through it and jump into something else or whether we just put through it slowly and that way it doesn't become too like, oh, this again. I can just like, you know, just do a tiny little bit with him each day and he hopefully won't get annoyed with it. We may land up scrapping the whole thing. If it lands up being too um, easy, we'll, we might scrap it or scrap parts of it. But right now I figure instead of I was going to pull out a few things and I'm like, you know what, it doesn't take long to go through it, let's just go through it. And if we know it, we put it away. If we need some more practice, we use it. So, we are using Bookshark Level 1 and um, that's not necessarily Grade 1. Z is in Grade 2, but this is for 6 to 8 year olds and Z just turned 7 a couple months ago. So we're going to work our way through um, Bookshark Language Arts. We are going, let's see here, we are going to use the Handwriting Without Tears program. I debated, um, I think we're still going to use the Kickstart Kindergarten as well because he needs lots of handwriting practice. So we're going to use this the way they tell us with language arts and we are going to use the other stuff for penmanship and I'll do a whole separate video on our penmanship but we're going to use that we're also going to use as part of this program the explode the code now we did um, explore the code and get set for the code and basically they're younger series but this year we're going to go through books one book two and book three. Now at the homeschool convention I did have book one and a half, two and a half, and three and a half in my pile, but because Z is reading I decided it would be redundant so we just grab these and if I find, let's say we do book two and I find book three too hard then I can always get book two and a half, but I didn't want to waste my money. And some of the readers we're going to be using with um, Bookshark are uh, Step Into Reading, The Bravest Dog Ever, The True Story of Balto, and we love Balto. We did, we learned all about Balto last year, but I purposely didn't read this book with him because I knew we would be hitting it in this curriculum. We're going to read The Best Trick, and we're also going to use these um, I Can Read books. So there is an I Can Read word list, and um, I just figured, you know what, we'll go through it quickly. I'll just have them scan it, read me. If we, We're not going to focus a lot on this because I believe like a lot of these words are going to be really easy for him. So there's the I can read book one, I can read book two, and I can read book three. We really should have went through this curriculum last year, I feel, but like I just want to, we're just going to go through it this year. We got lots of other things that we're going to be hitting. Um, at and challenging these levels. So this is just a review to make sure we're not missing anything. We're going to read a ball, a big ball of string. And we're also going to go through these Dr. Seuss books. We're going to be reading uh, One Fish, Two Fish, Red Fish, Blue Fish, The Cat in the Hat, 
put me in the zoo and green eggs and ham. So that is what our language arts looks like. We are also going to be doing some programs of Doman International and I've kind of talked about those in past videos. We're going to be doing a poem a day. We're going to be doing, um, I think a poem a day is actually in here or maybe it's in history. You know what, it's in history. I'll talk about that more in the history, um, what we're using for history and social studies. But um, we're going to be doing homemade books. We're going to be doing vocabulary words. So I know he's going to get a solid um, language arts curriculum. So that is what we're using. Have you guys used Bookshark before? I know in the past we've loved it. They have some worksheets too. I actually, I don't think I pulled them. Oh, I did pull them up. I haven't decided whether we're going to use the um, activity sheets yet. They look like they have a lot of writing, so we're probably going to skip them. But that being said, they're there if I want to pull something out or double check something. So that is what we're using. Um, we liked Bookshark last year. I'm hoping we're going to like it this year. And uh, we skipped the worksheets last year too for the most part. They were just kind of like, eh. They didn't really do anything for us. So, But the books were awesome and the following Explode the Code curriculum and having that all laid out for us um, worked out really nice and it kept me on track. So thank you for watching. If you like this video, be sure to thumbs up. Subscribe. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe. It helps my um, videos get more recognized by YouTube. And if you're a lurker who likes to come and check out what I post but are not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Thank you for watching. Check out my blog at earlylearningmom.com and we'll see you next time. Thank you.